Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my personal tips and recommendations to improve the network performance and reliability on your iPhone if you're constantly getting a no service or slow network performance call quality isn't as good I'm going to show you my personal tips and recommendations to fix this and improve the network performance on your iPhone this seems to be a very popular question so let's go ahead and dive right into this video now the first thing you need to do before we look into any software enhancements we want to go into our iPhones and if you have an iPhone with a sim card this is the first thing you need to look at so if you had an iPhone for more than a year or two you may want to get a sim card replacement so this is the sim card from this iphone 13 pro max which i had it for nearly a year in comparison to a brand new sim card so take a look at the old sim card right there see the color this is a brand new sim card here next to it and can you tell the difference sometimes sim cards do get burnt out and as you can see right here this sim card looks sort of a dark and copperish color this one looks gold and nice and new so if you want to get a new sim card oftentimes carriers do give out brand new sim cards for free to their customers go ahead and check out pop out your sim card take a look at it if you're having network issues if you're getting no service issues on your iphone pop out the sim card take a look at it if it's sort of burned out especially if you have an iphone for more than two years go get a new sim card replacement as i mentioned oftentimes they're free you get to keep your own number and it's fairly simple to do now another thing you want to look into is you want to go into carrier updates and check if there's any carrier updates for your iphone oftentimes carriers do deliver carrier updates for the modem on your iphone but oftentimes you don't even notice this because you have to go into settings here then you want to head on over into general and then you want to go into the about section and if there's any carrier settings it will pop up on the center of your screen here now not everyone will get a carrier settings update but if you do of course you want to click update carrier settings and this will of course improve the call quality the performance of the network and everything else in between so those are the first two things you need to do before we look into software enhancements so now let's take a look at some of these software features built into your iPhone in order to improve the network performance and I want to start off with indoor call quality performance so you want to head on over into settings you want to find the phone extension in settings there it is you want to go into phone and right here you have the option Wi-Fi calling now you want to make sure you enable Wi-Fi calling on your iPhone this will improve the network performance and call quality indoors so if you're at work or at home and you're having issues indoors with network performance this will definitely help you improve the call quality performance in network performance indoors of course by enabling Wi-Fi calling now another thing you can do is go into your cell data options right here and then you want to go into voice and data now we have three options available right here we have automatic switching on for LTE and on for 5G as well. So now I recommend you choose the automatic because this will automatically switch between LTE and 5G depending on the networks that's performing the best in your area at the time. Oftentimes users select 5G only or LTE only. And I think that's a mistake unless you know which network performs best in your area. Automatic switching is the best option in order to let your iPhone determine which network is the best at the time of where you're at in order to choose what network to choose, rather LTE LTE or 5G at the moment to give you better performance, download speeds, and things like that. Now, there might be a fourth option available to you. It depends on your carrier, and that is the standalone 5G option. If you do have this option, I recommend you enable it. This will definitely improve the call quality and performance. Again, that fourth option will be available here if your carrier supports it. My carrier does not, but standalone 5G option, enabling that will also improve the call quality. Now, last but not least, there's one more option I recommend you look into. So let's go into settings here let's go into the cell option and scroll all the way to the bottom here and you'll find this option right here Wi-Fi assist if this option is turned off I recommend you turn it on because what happens here is sometimes your Wi-Fi may go out or the network speeds on the Wi-Fi may be slow Wi-Fi assist can determine this and help you with download speeds and performance using the cell network to improve the performance to call quality and everything else when you're using the network if Wi-Fi is weak at the moment or disconnect it randomly this will definitely improve the connection and reliability when you're downloading things if the Wi-Fi network fails in your area and there you guys have it these are my personal tips and recommendations and features and options you should look into also replacing the sim card as I mentioned is a good idea and checking for carrier updates definitely a great idea as well and that about brings an end to this video hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one peace